everyone. Welcome to Playable Kids Art. My name is Layla, and I am Simone. Welcome to our today's class. Today we are going to make a playable cell phone. So, shall we show everyone how we play this cell phone, Simone?、Mm. Okay, can you hold? Okay, hold this. Okay, hold to show everyone. Okay, grab here, here. Okay, so I made a little pig cell phone. This cell phone has a pig body, a screen, and then up down here is the number pad. So I'll explain why I made like this. So look. Here showed what is this, Simon? What is this? It's dead, right? Which means now my phone is trying to call my daddy, and then all those numbers will be my daddy's cell phone number. And then, if you want to remember your mommy's phone number, you can take this name card out, and then you can switch. To a different card, which says "mommy," and then you can put mommy's card in here. Then you can change those numbers into your mommy's phone number. So today, my、um, art is trying to help you to memorize all the important numbers, such as your parents' number or. Maybe the police or firefighter or hospitals number,、uh, emergency number, which is nine one one. So this is how you play with it. It's a、um, self. It's a phone number memorized、uh, playable cell phone. Oh, I'm gonna show here. It's made by those special record dots. So that's why you can take out the numbers and then change them to whatever number you want, and then you can make this little cell phone. All right. Record that. Thank you, Simone. I'll put it here, and then first, let's learn some Chinese. Da. What's this, Simone? Show. Cell phone in Chinese is 手机。再说手机。手机。Cell phone in Chinese is 手机。手机。手机。Cell phone. I hope you remember it. Now let's talk about the tools we will need. So today you will need cardstock. Uh, scissors, markers, and very important this velcro dots. If you don't have this one, you can also use double side sticky tape. Double side tape. This would also work, but this one will be much easier to do with your craft. And then you will also need a knife because inside. Of the screen, the mouth area, you will need a knife to cut off this piece, this space. Okay. So、Just、let's begin. Like this. Yeah, that's right. Like this. You need to cut. <laughs> you need to cut off that area. <laughs> okay. So before we start. I want to explain、um, quick how what is the concept. So now you listen carefully, don't draw it because later you will make your own design. You can follow my design. So see, I design a pig cell phone or a、uh, monster cell phone, and then you can make your own design. But let me show you the concept quick. So. A cell phone. Normally, right now we have the cell phone, and then it's a big rectangle shape.、Mm -hmm. It's a big rectangle shape, and then normally our cell phone has a very huge screen, right? 
this is our current cell phone because we have iPhone or Android phones we use to touch the screen and then control on it. But now, since we are going to make this craft it's cell phone. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit different. So our screen, our screen will be smaller. Our screen will be smaller. That's where you will switch those name cards. It will be smaller screen. And when you later do the screen, make sure uh, the, the top side, you need to give some space. Do not draw all the way on the edge. Do not do that. Why? Because later, uh, this is a, uh, this, uh, how do I explain it? Okay, those part you need to leave out because later we will need some special craft, special paste. And then you can make it into, uh, like you can take the card out and then slide the card in. So make sure later when you draw the screen, you will have space around the edge. And then you can see at the bottom, those are number pad. So normally, you know, normally on a phone, the number should be three, off each line but like that. Four on this line. That's right. So normally a cell phone looks like this. Those are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero, and then some uh like that. Normally the cell phone looks like that. Pound, pound and start. But now I changed it. So on my changes, see the first line, one, two, three numbers. Second line, one, two, three numbers, and the last line, four numbers. Why? Let me explain to you. The reason I do that is because in America, when we try to memorize cell phone numbers, the numbers normally will look like, okay, for example, those will be the numbers, number, 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 number 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 and then four numbers so for example someone's telephone number will be one two three and then one two three and then one two three and the last one is one two three four how on this hmm? so that's why i designed my cell phone into three numbers first group Three numbers, second group, four numbers, the bottom group. It's literally try to help you to memorize your parents' cell phone number or anyone else's cell phone number. So I group like that. Okay, and that is the concept of a cell phone. So now let's begin to design and make your own cell phone. Uh, so uh, Simone has already drawn her cell phone. As you can see, she made a little cat monster cell phone. And then let's do this. I will use the pig one as my example. You can follow me. First, yes, first, let's make a very huge Rectangle. This? Like mine? That's fine. Here. Uh, I have a request for you. Do not use rulers. Listen carefully. You will not use rulers. I want you to practice your hand skill. Don't use rulers. If you cannot make a straight line, that is totally okay. It's okay, you can use a pencil. If you don't like the line, you erase it. <laughs> Thank you. You erase it and then you redo it. Just to try many times until you are satisfied with your line. Yeah. No rulers for drawing, okay? Okay, first a big rectangle. And then you can see, I just keep adding some details and then change 
the egg rectangle shape and then it turns into animal or monster so let's second step let's do the big mouse for the cell phone screen another big rectangle oh, but smaller rectangle inside the bigger rectangle that's right and remember do not touch the top when you draw it do, do not touch the top or the side you need to give space top and side both need to give some space so this will be this will be the um your cell phone's screen and if you want to design your cell phone into an animal or a uh, monster or whatever you want this can be is mouth big mouth so for my little pig i made this look here i draw a little round nose and then two little dots eyes and then on top of here ears two ears that's right two ears and then see now i can just erase those lines and then now it changed into a pig body do you see how i make it first i made the rectangle and then i add those eyes ears i made a wing for mine oh Simone is making a monster no, is that dragon. arm a dragon is that an arm or a wing. with that's wing okay yeah and then i also draw two little arms for my little pig cell phone arm no arm it depends on you leg no legs it depends on you we only want the shape of a cell phone but it does not to be look like just a rectangle right you can also always make change and if you don't like rectangle you can change into a uh, uh over shape rectangle yeah that's right see no matter what shape it is you can always add a screen and those number pad so how whatever shape you want for your cell phone if as long as you have a screen and uh hmm? i got a tail for mine yeah that's fine as long as you have screen and the number pad it's okay so now use your imagination see who can challenge Make a different one, make your own design. I made the feet too. Right. And my little pig has some teeth. One, two, three, four. And bottom. One, two, three, four. It just looks like now my little pig is opening its big mouth. Ah. My dragon right has thought on it okay <laughs> yeah and then no matter what you draw on the body on the cell phone body part is okay but at the end we will put the macro dots on the body so it doesn't matter what you draw on the cell phone's body because at the end see you will put those dots the sticky dots and the numbers on it well, how so you can just well, why do, do we need to use velcro dots? Dots, huh? Why do we need to use it? Because you will need to put the numbers and then you will be able to switch all those numbers. That's the point. If you don't put those numbers, uh, those uh, velcro dots on it, then you will only have one number on your cell phone. And then if you change your name card, how can you switch those numbers? That's why your number will be made into a switchable, like changeable numbers. And then we when you change the name card, your number can also be changed. That makes sense? Yeah, so Simone, now you are just de making, uh, showing everyone a phone design. But when you make it, yeah, you can make your cell phone and then you need to cut it off. And then Simone, I think right now you can cut off your little cat monster cell phone.
Okay, and then that's the thing, only thing you need to draw on the body like that. So now I'm going to show you. I will mark it. Use the red marker to mark where you are going to need to cut. So see. This other area, that the red area will be the area you need to cut off. Okay, the entire red marker area is where you need to cut, uh, cut off by knife. And then this will be, look like this. Ta-da! See? It looks like that, huh? You cut on this area and then you become like that. That's the first part. You're welcome to look at the monster cell phone design. The concept is always the same, but the, please make change. Okay, this is the first step. And next step. Simone, now you need to listen to me carefully about the next step. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'll give you another piece of paper. For the mouth? Yeah, here. Simone. Uh, you can take it. Where did I put this? You can put it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to show you, all right. So now you will need to uh, have, you will need to get a new piece of paper. And then, so I'll look carefully, everyone look at me carefully. You will put your cell phone's body with this part got cut off, and then you will be put this on top of the second page of paper. And then, and then what you need to do is use a pen to mark exactly where the screen is at. But don't mark the teeth. Yes, I mark the teeth, but I will show you. So, if you mark the teeth, it will become that. That's right. So look, look. Now I mark the teeth because when you mark this area, you will have to mark the teeth, right? That's okay. But next, look. So when I when you mark this area, please use a pencil, okay? You know what? Let me show you on here. So look, when you mark it, you use a pencil to mark this. And then you will get this, right? So those four area will be the teeth, where the teeth are. And then now, look, erase those teeth. Erase those teeth. And then connect those empty lines. So it will be like from here to here. Did you catch it? Are you following me? So mark this first, right? Mark the entire it. mouse area. You will get this. And then, okay, I get this. No, why? Yeah, I'm and then you will need to erase all those keys and then connect all the lines. And then you will have this rectangle. I will show you and explain why you need to do this. So, look. Look at this yellow square, yellow rectangle area. This will be this, the yellow part, okay? Don't ignore the red part. So only look at the yellow part. Now you will get this exactly the same as this yellow 
rectangle area. But look, this paper is the one you need to cut off. And look, when I cut it off, did you see I have edged amount all side of this rectangle? See, top, bottom, left, right, they are more space among this rectangle. So that's why when you cut off this piece of paper, when you cut out this piece of paper, you need to be bigger than this screen area rectangle. Why does it need to? So the reason is, here is a little bit tricky. The reason is you will later put glue on the red area and then it will be put back of the cell phone screen area because only the top and the bottom has glue. So on the side, look, there will be a little pocket that you will be able to slide. Look, it will be able to slide your name card inside and then take it out. That's why you will need to do this. Simone, do you understand? Do you, do you understand? I'm trying to see if you guys understand. Uh, you need to cut it a little bigger so you can put glue. That's right. The so first thing you mark the mouth area and then when you cut this paper. Okay, I think this may be a little bit confusing. I will do uh, it one more time. So first you will mark, mark this area, right? And then you erase the key, you will at the end get this, right? Okay. And now, look, now I will use the red marker to show you where you need to cut off this paper. You will cut off like that. To see it, you will need to cut off this paper among those right lines. So, okay, let's do the cut. Among the red. Oh, can you put a space around mine? This is your mouth, right? Okay, so Simone is asking me to help her. So, so your can you put it here, Simone? I did the font drop it. Okay. So Simone finished her mouth area, and then I will help her. She needs to do do this. Yeah, now you need to cut off this red area. And then once you finish, you'll get this. And then, next step is also very important. I want you to look at me carefully. I will, this time I will use green color to show you where you need to put glue, okay? So, you will put glue at the top and at the bottom. At the bottom. Okay. This is where you will need to put glue. And look, this is the screen area, right? But here between the green and the screen area, there's also a tiny little gap, tiny little white space. So you, it's very important here, you don't put any glue. Only put to the very top, very bottom. There's space, empty space between the uh, green and the screen. I'll work on my side. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll work on Simone. Simone, you will need to put glue on exactly on the green, green line. lines. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, yes. Uh, okay. And then this is the one I pre-made. So glue on here, glue on here. And then now I will do it so you can do it with me. I actually will use double set tape because uh, it's a little easier for this craft. So look. 
my double set tape will be exactly on the right line. Uh, do I need to color the screen? Uh, yes, you need to I color the it. screen. Yes, yeah. you need to color the screen. Second, I'm trying to make this face you so you can see what's going on. Double tape, double side tape exactly on the line. Look, so my bottom of this double side tape is exactly exactly match this red line, and then the other one exactly match the red line. And then now, now I will put this on the screen like this. Okay, let's do it. Okay. okay, now you see, now I glue or double set tape, I stick those two pieces of paper together. It looks like, when you look at this, it looks like this is just a big monster opening its yellow mouth, right? All right. And then on the back, you can see that is the second piece of paper what? stick on the back. Nah. What? Hold on, Mama. And I will just show you. Now you get this little pocket. Okay, where it is? Okay, here. See? Now you get this little pocket. Whoops. Now you get this little pocket. And then now your paper, your name card can just to slide in it you see that and slide in it slide in it see that that's why when you make this uh patch little patch that's why you need to do it like that can i tape it yet yes you can tape it so I'll take this out. So now I finish this. Now we finish the cell phone and the screen, the slide changing ball screen. And the next step, we will make this name card. Okay. Let's back to this. Remember you remember you mark the mouse area, the screen area, and then let's repeat this step. You mark it and then you erase the teeth and then you connect all these lines. You will get this. It's exact, exact, uh, exactly how big the screen is. And then this will be the name card. See it? This will be your name card. And then when you cut off this one, here, do like this. Let's add a little bit extra on the right and left side. Can I stick this on? Uh-huh, you can. So remember when you do this part, the whole top, the whole air, uh, the whole uh how to, top bottom left right you need space. But when you make this name card, only left and right has some extra space. And then you will cut off this red area and all the way here, cut, cut here and all the way to the bottom. And then you will get this. So look, the yellow area will be the screen. It's uh, exactly the same time, uh, it's the same size. Charlotte, Mama. It will be exactly the same size See the yellow area is exactly the same size as the screen and the red area is when you cut off, you have those extra space. The reason to do that is when you slide your card in, look, if it's exactly the same size, your paper, your name card will be just fall out from here. But if it's a little bit longer, look, if it's a little bit longer, it will stay in there. Okay, let me show you. Shut up, Mama. I'm going to get some notes 
See, if it's a little bit longer, look, it will stay inside of the mouse, the screen area better. And ta -da, it will not fall off. See, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I don't know how you make that card because I was busy taping. Yes. This. So I said, like, Mama, buy new phone. I'll get that in the Uh, oh, you got it. Oh, no. You should have a good, you should have a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 来,你先放下,你先拿这一张纸。你先拿这一张纸。拿这一张纸,然后你先在这儿。Okay, okay, so Simone asked, actually, she accidentally did the wrong, but it's okay. You can first put this paper in there, and then mark it. Mark it. Mark it. No, not sharpie do some. Why? Oh, that's right. Okay, okay, pencil, here. Okay, now she's trying to remark the mouth area with the teeth. Okay, okay, good. And then take this paper out. Okay. Like now erase the teeth area. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then Connect the teeth area. That's right. And then Simone, how you cut it? You need to do like this. When you cut it off, let me show you. So you see now this is a name card. And then on top, bottom, left, right, both have space. You don't want the top and the bottom space. You only want Right and left. I don't get what you mean. So you only need to cut. I know, I know, I know. You have to cut here, 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 here. No, no. Mm. So the red area is where you will keep. Oh. You need to cut up here and here. Okay, I get it. Okay. Okay, and after you cut off the screen, I will make the screen bigger. That's the screen area, that's the name card. The name card, like that. Okay, like these two are the name card. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, your name card will look like that. Simone. So now you can draw first and then put it there. So now let's design the name card. So on my pig screen, I drew, whoops, I drew a little dad. So this is dad and then the number is daddy's number. So here you can draw your dad. My daddy has a face and hair. Mm, that's what I'm gonna call. Mm. Raina. Oh, Raina, you want to call your sister. But your sister doesn't have a number. <laughs> so face, hair, ear, mouth, smelly face, and then body. Right, that is my dad. And then try to help me to remember who this is. So you can also write, write dad, D-A-D. -E oh, whoops, my angle looks, okay, let me write here, dad, D-A-D. -E See that? Dad, like this. Dad is showing on my screen, I'm calling my dad from here. And then, if you want to call your mommy, what are you gonna do? 
you will draw another screen, another name card. You will need to make a different one like that. You will make a different one. And then you can draw a mommy face, long hair, and then here says mom. This is your mom's name card. Mom, mm. So dad, name card. Mom name card, and then if you put your mom's name card in here, you will put your mom's phone number under here. Okay. And then this is, I designed a emergency number. See, I drew a little firefighter, a policeman. So if my cell phone has this in here, my number here would be 911. Okay, now let's back to the cell phone. Let's get back to the cell phone. I will use the red marker to show you where you need to put those uh, uh, red hot dots. <sighs> 没关系, 萌萌, uh, 不要着急. So, one number, those are the points you need to put red hot dots. 怎么了, <laughs> So Simone is crying frustrated because she made a mistake. Yeah, okay. So look, I'm sure a lot of you feel the same. Look, Simone is very frustrated. She almost cried because she doesn't like to make mistakes because she said her little mom is one eye smaller, one eye big. But guess what? Is this okay to make it's not called mistake. Look carefully how I can change it. Someone can I have your pen? Look. Look. If you think you make a mistake, which is not true in drawing, we don't have mistakes. It's, it's okay. And look, now I can do this. Ta-da! I make it little bit of cartoonish, it's okay, it's still a little people. Ta -da. See, now it just seems like my little mom has the cute giant cartoon eye. Ta -da. You can, if you cannot erase it, guess what, you just keep adding on it, see? Now it becomes like a different style of cartoon mom. And it's okay that you are frustrated. It is okay, but just don't worry about it. Everything is okay. There's no there's no such thing, uh, there's no such thing to say, I made wrong, my picture is wrong. There's no such thing. Okay, so now, now you can color it. And you can also color it to make it pretty, I promise. If you color it, no matter how you draw it, it will look great, trust me. Just to color it, that's right. See, now Samo is getting better. You can solve this problem. No, you are not getting better. You, you are just trying to get angry in front of all your friends. No? Okay. When we when we draw when we draw pictures when we draw your artwork, you should always enjoy yourself. You don't need to be angry. You don't need to be sad. You don't need to be sad, uh, frustrated. You should always enjoy it, even though you draw it not as much as the way you want it. But it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's really okay. Okay. So red area, the red dots will be where you put the vocal dots. One, two, three. First line. Second line. One, two, three. And then the bottom. One, two, three, four. 
你怎么了？你需要去冷静一下吗？需要吗？那你出去冷静一下吧。我在教小朋友画画呢啊。So here are the dots that you will need to put the vertical dots. 很好看。So look, this is some color. I like it. I like it. Yes. 怎么了 ？Okay. 有关系吗 ？OK， now she's showing she made another mistake. No, there's no mistake. OK, see this line. Now I will show you how you change this. Look, how you're going to change this. Look. Oops, I need a different paper. Da da. 萌萌，你过来看呀！哒哒哒哒 ！No, I just keep adding some stuff. Decoration. 这个东西是他的头发吗？嗯嗯 ，This is just a background, decoration background, and look. Oh, you can color it. Do you see how I change your artwork to make it better? You don't need to. Tear it. You don't need to erase it. You don't need to redo it. Just you can add it, and you can keep coloring it. You can keep adding on stuff, and then it will turn out to a really pretty picture. Okay. Okay. Where are? Where? Okay. Those vertical dots. See, vertical dots. And then you are going to draw those little number key, a little square. You write numbers, and then on the back you put the another side of the vertical dots, and then later you can put them here. So I will put that name card back in. Okay. I'm going to call my daddy, and then this is my daddy's. Cell phone number. My daddy's cell phone number is, for example, eight zero zero one two three zero one two three. And then I will use my cell phone to help myself to remember my daddy's cell phone number. And then you can also draw this calling button and then hang up button. You see? And then this, those two. You can just、uh, make your own. You can change the shape. Remember, change the shape. I use a little square. You can change it into stars,、um, circle, oval.、Um, what else? What other shape? Diamond. Anything you want. All those numbers and these little two calling buttons. You can change whatever shape you want. So Simone is working on her change. Fixed name card. Tada! See it earlier. Someone can you stand over here? It's okay. Like so, she is. She was crying that she made a mistake. Mistake because her um pen just accidentally dropped over it. So she was very sad. But did you see the way I show you? Keep adding. Did she tear this paper or redo it? No, she didn't. But You can give it color. You can keep adding some decoration lines, dots, anything. And now look how this one looks like. Isn't this even more prettier than before? Did you learn my way? Oh, so you did a very good job. And then you can put your mom's name card. Into your cell phone. Oh, this is a little bit too wide. You can. You 这个两边太长了，可以再角下一点。哎 ，Okay. So everyone, did you get get this? Did you uh follow me? So let me know if you have any questions. If you don't understand, um, which step, any step you don't understand, you can um email me. Uh, you can ask me, and I can answer you through the email.、Uh, but today, my art class finished here, 
And you're welcome to show me your work once you are done. Send it to playablekeysart at gmail.com. I would love to see it and make your own design. I want to see different ones. And thank you for watching. And we will see you back on next Monday. Simone, can you take your cell phone here and hold it to show everyone? To show everyone? Yes. Flip it, flip, towards them. Hey, Simone, you did a great job. Now she's so happy again. So say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. I will see you on Monday. Bye.